Fabulae Faculis 6.3 In the previous two episodes, we read and translated down through Trotteré. For this one, we will begin with Aeus and complete the selection. Aeus autemphilia, nomine Andromeda, Virgo formosissima erdrat, Cepheus ubi haec audivit, magnum dolorem percepit, volebat tamen kiwis suos e tanto perdriculo extrahere, atque ab eam causam, imperdrata ham monis facere constituit. Previously, remember, the god Hammon, via his oracle, ordered Cepheus to hand over Trotere, his own daughter, to the sea creature, the monstrum saevissimum. His daughter, moreover, and the antecedent of this pronoun Aeus, is Cepheus. His daughter, moreover, Philia, nominative, singular, and feminine, keeping my typical order, feminine, singular, nominative, his daughter, moreover, by the name of Andromeda, was a maiden very beautiful, formosissima erdrat. This noun, nomina, is neuter, singular, and ablative. It's an ablative of instrument. His daughter, by name Andromeda, these are in apposition, was a virgo, feminine, singular, and nominative. Virgo is the predicate of philia. She was a maiden, formosissima. This also then feminine, singular, and nominative, modifying virgo, and it is a superlative adjective. Adjectives come in three degrees, the positive degree, the comparative degree, and the superlative degree. This then is superlative. When Cepheus heard these things, Cepheus here is the subject of Audiwit, ubi is the subordinating conjunction with the indicative, meaning when, Cepheus, the subject, is really within this clause, but it's common to take first in the sentence, and there's no confusion with the previous portion. When Cepheus heard these things, hike, neuter, plural, accusative, object of audivit, the perfect tense audivit, magnum dolorem per capit, he received, he endured, he took on great grief. He took this news very hard. Magnum dolorem is masculine, singular, and accusative, the object of the perfect verb per capit. He wanted, however, or lebat tamen. What did he want? He wanted extrahere. He wanted to pull his own citizens out of such great danger. E tanto perdriculo. Extrahere, this verbal noun, that is an infinitive, this verbal noun, is functioning like the object of walebat. What did he want? He wanted extrahere. The object of extrahere as an active infinitive is kiwis suos. I know this is kiwis because in the third declension, when this I is long, it can be the accusative plural, and it's clearly the object of extrahere. Kiwis suos. He wanted to pull his own citizens out of such enormous danger. Extrahere is a compound of ex and traho. Traho meaning to drag, draw, pull, something like that. That's what it means in English anyway. And as is typical, the compounded verb patterns with the preposition of which it is compounded, to pull them out of such great danger. And so, ab eam causam, we see here ab again, Richie is testing us on this preposition with the accusative. On account of this reason, for this reason, imperdrata hamonis facere constituit. Imperata is neuter, plural, and accusative, the object of facere. The commands of Hammon, this one, masculine, singular, genitive, possessive, like it was here, the commands of Hammon he decided to fulfill, facere constituit.